Did you know that you can copy elements from a linked model and monitor those elements for change? This workflow describes a typical process to coordinate efforts between teams working on the same project and using linked models. Let's check it out. Hi all, this is Serge and welcome to the channel. On this video, I quickly demonstrate the copy monitor function in four easy to follow steps. So here we have a linked file and let's say that for some reason you need to make a change to that linked file. On the project browser, find Revit links down the bottom. Right click on the linked file and choose open and unload. I can now edit the link without having to open it in a second iteration of Revit. I will make a simple change for demonstration. Now that I have completed the change, I can save and close. I am now back in the host model and looking at the Revit links tab on the project browser, you can notice the link is now marked with a red cross, meaning it has been removed from the host. If I right click on the link, I can then reload this back in. Now this is all being done without closing out of the host file or opening a second iteration of Revit. Very useful tools. And here you can see the updated link. Now, in this tutorial, I have simulated receiving a linked file from a consultant. But what if the consultant updates their file? I have set up all of the work sets, and so to do this all over again could be frustrating. Well, Using the copy and monitor tool, I don't have to. Let's take a closer look. On the collaborate tab, select copy monitor, then select the consultant's link. Up on the ribbon, pick options, then come across to the options dialog and pick walls. Here, Revit is asking how I would like to copy the walls. I will change these to original type because I want to use the same wall family that was used by the consultant. Then, back on the ribbon, I pick copy, and then just below on the options bar, I pick multiple, so that I can select more than one wall. To conclude the process, I can select which walls I would like to copy. In this example, I select the walls recently added. Click finish on the options bar. As you can see, I have literally copied the selected elements from the linked model into the host file. But not only, Revit has marked the copied walls with a monitoring symbol, meaning that in future revisions of the linked file, if the monitored walls move again, Revit will notify me accordingly. Let's have a look. To demonstrate the workflow, I will unload the link. Simulating a consultant, I will then make a change and reload the revised link back into the host. As I have reloaded, Revit has detected a change in location of the monitored elements. I can now go to the coordination review on the ribbon to find out more. Here, Revit gives me a choice of four actions. I pick the last one. In essence, this moves the monitored wall in the host file to the updated location of the same wall in the linked file. Essentially, 
Revit has updated the host file for me. This concludes the tutorial. If you find this workflow useful, please like the video and subscribe for more Revit workflows.